بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویل وی بیک ود آر ایتھکس ماڈیول اٹس اے لانگ ایکسٹینڈیڈ ماڈیول بٹ از ایکسٹریملی امپورٹنٹ ان دا کانٹیکسٹ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس بیکاز کارپوریٹ گورننس از آل اباؤٹ ایتھکس ناؤ وین وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دی کارپوریٹ گورننس ان ایتھیکل کانٹیکس دین اے ویری امپورٹنٹ کانٹیکسٹ اور فلاسفی بیسکلی ایمرجز ان دیٹ از سائیکولوجیکل ڈسٹینسنگ اینڈ سلیکٹو اٹینشن ناؤ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ سلیکٹو اٹینشن دین اگین واٹ وی سی از از دیٹ we we might be present in a room we might be walking down a particular place we might be standing somewhere but we are selective in what we are trying to retain and understand while the rest we can be all oblivious of and the book of uh, helen keller in which she talks about three days to see is just amazing because that is what she says she talks about the fact that uh, why is it that people with perfect senses and perfect eyesight when they walk into a forest and they come out of that forest and if a question is asked that what did you see and they say nothing so helen keller being blind and deaf basically is questioning all the people with the right senses that how is it possible that you walk through a forest and you come out and say that you did not see anything she says that even though she is blind and deaf if she just walks through the forest she would be hearing the sound of the wind would be feeling the wind across her face she would be touching the different leaves and flowers and twigs and understanding their texture and configuration she while touching a particular twig or branch would be able to hear a bird sing on top of the tree because there are vibrations which are coming down she would be able to smell the forest sometimes also taste the forest some wild berries or some other fruit now all of that is possible but because we have selective attention therefore sometimes helen keller says that a husband does not even know the color of his wife eyes So why do we lack attention is a very, very important question. And similarly, in psychological distancing, why is it that we tend to distance ourselves from situations and from people many a times? Why do we huddle ourselves in a room alone, even though we are a social animal? So all of these things are very, very important. And in one way or the other, tend to influence corporate governance. So, When we are talking about selective attention, it plays an important positive role in our lives. It allows us to pay attention to that which interests us. But should we only be looking at what interests us? Or can we look beyond? Can we absorb through all of our senses and try to understand and comprehend what the world is around us in a better way? That is a question. So, more than answers, actually, challenges of ethical living ask questions and everyone's answer is going to be correct and would be individual to that particular individual or that particular person so introspection and understanding oneself is extremely important why do we empathize why should we empathize why do we sympathize why should we sympathize why should i be kind to my subordinate Why should I be well informed about my peers and my subordinates? Why should I be concerned for them? Is there any reason? These are all different questions of psychological distancing and selective attention. So when we look at selective attention, the ability to zone things out may blind us to other things that may be de- happening that demand our immediate attention, much as the presence of someone in need of urgent help. So again, sometimes we don't understand implications and issues and we might need the help of someone else. We should not shun and not obscure ourselves from society, but we should try to immerse ourselves in a better way so that we can comprehend and understand it in a better way. We can dovetail our lives into the lives of community and society around us. 
وی کین لو اے لائف آف بیٹر کنٹینٹمنٹ اینڈ سیٹسفیکشن ود آؤٹ بیکمنگ ہوسٹیج آف مٹیریلزم اینڈ کٹ تھروٹ کمپٹیشن وی ہیو ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ زوننگ آؤٹ مائی ناٹ بی اے سولوشن بٹ ایکچولی زوننگ ان ول بی دا سولوشن and what how do we prioritize in life how do we set priorities that is also a very important question what is precious to us what is the most meaningful to us are we devoting our times properly to all of that or are we running after materialistic pursuits and compromising on our own existence and the existence of what we actually care for but are unable to prioritize and that is extremely tragic and sad so therefore boys and girls look into yourself be truthful be honest try to comprehend what you like what you don't like what you're passionate about what motivates you what drives you what pulls you and then follow your heart and soul try to find that out and that will lead you to excellence and that will lead you to better performance and optimization of self So don't indulge in selective intention. Try to absorb whatever is around you and analyze it in a better way. Selective attention establishes a hierarchy of relevance, indeed, of value, the belief that this is more important than that, which may not accord with what we genuinely value. So maybe the real priorities in our life are all superficial, are confusing, do not make sense. are convoluted and rather than giving us pleasure contentment solace comfort happiness it gives us pain it gives us strategy it gives us physical ailments or mental ailments and the question is why why do we do it why do we have this self destructive mode working within our own existence why can't we shun it away and do things in a better way to feel more whole hearted to feel more wholesome feel more content to have that energy and passion to do more so what is important is not what others, what others are saying what is important is how you evaluate and look at yourself in a truthful manner and not be swayed about by the negativities of life but determine your life based upon the positivities of value that is what is important selective attention largely operates in the background and does the job for us without our knowledge unless we can make an effort to observe its operation so So this is in our subconscious. Subconsciously, we are doing so many different things. And that mostly leads to a lot of problems. The Diana Simons experiment. Simon stresses the positive role of selective attention. Everyone sees more than they actually do. And everyone needs to focus our attention on something in order to see it. So exactly what I was talking about earlier was also researched and experimented. by daniel simons and again selective attention is not negative it can be positive it enables us to do more and it enables us to see what we tend to like so selective attention if done in the right way can become a contributory of contentment solace and peace but if done negatively then it can become a disaster So therefore, students, it's important to determine who and what you are and what you want to be and why. These are the important questions which emerge from this chapter of psychological distancing and selective attention. Thank you very much.